Okay, so here we go. We're going to pour the first one here. So this is our wax that we carved. We're going to set that aside. Then we've got our flask here. And it's all set up and I've checked to make sure there's nothing in the mold area, no extra sand or anything. Uh, I checked all the vents. Something I like to do is I like to put it together and then I like to take it back apart and make sure that the vents didn't get uh, pushed together. So now the next thing would be to place this in, well in this, this instance I'm using the AccuPour with the pouring handle. And so you want to make sure there's nothing inside the crucible and then you want to tip this up and you want to line it up so the edge of that is with the edge of that hole. At that point you can add your metal. Uh, I like to use about an ounce and a half on most every pour. Okay, we'll line that up. Now I'll grab our torch. And it blew out, okay. Take a minute here. I got a fan on behind me. Okay. That'll be interesting. Kind of work it back and forth, let it roll around in there, heat up your tip, pour it right in. Okay, just going to let that cool a little bit. Not going to let it cool as much as I normally would. So we're going to tip that out. Got myself a glove here. So that's a very good casting. I mean, granted, it, it ran down all the vents, but the casting looks uh, fantastic. So we'll kind of dig this out. Might have to kind of pry it up because, man, the metal <laughs> flowed all the way in there. Um, maybe the vents were a little too big. But they're easy to cut off. I'm more concerned with getting a great casting, and this is a great casting. And if you look, see I have enough sprue on here that it's going to be really easy to cut off. And you want to have that, and you could just take some... Uh, little nippers and cut those off and you got yourself a great casting so I think we'll stop it right here all right thank you